Now that Zeus has cut the link between the mountain and the earth, I grow so bored of this tiny garden. Gone are the golden days of the hunt. My arrows sit idle in their quiver, lacking a worthy target. From the first moment you set eyes on Alien Trap's newest game, Apotheon, you will immediately notice the game's initial draw. This game is beautiful. The world looks as if it is painted on the side of some ancient Greek pottery. The world sticks to very natural colors and uses an overlay that gives the world an ancient pottery texture. Colors are used in a way to give you a strong understanding of the world around you, which doors you can enter, which platforms you can pass through, as you climb and fall through a Metroid-like maze of a world. The gameplay of this title is spot on in almost every aspect. The close quarters combat feels great as every weapon has a new weight, feel, and attack style. Greek fire can be used to clear paths to secret areas of each map as well. You may even find interesting items like a shield found in the Apollo section of the game, which emits an aura of light, relieving you of the burden of switching between the torch and the shield in dark sections of the game. The platforming itself feels just as smooth about 90% of the time. Your movement feels right, but you occasionally get stuck on certain ledges causing brief fits of panic in a boss fight as you struggle momentarily to regain your footing. This game's combat mechanics feel very much like the Dark Souls series. You must judge your surroundings carefully, watch for tells and enemy attack patterns, as well as block and dodge liberally. This combines with an almost spot-on maze platformer structure to create a very appealing set of game mechanics that will keep you coming back for more. Sound effects throughout are also very appropriate for the setting. They give every one of your striking blows a feel of impact and achievement. They also give you a sense of urgency as you are struck by an enemy and take massive damage as you stumble to the ground. However, not everything within Apotheon is perfect. Its aesthetics are ancient as are its storytelling. It tells the tale of the gods of Olympus turning their backs on mankind and feels like a story that has been done far too many times before. It almost feels like a ripoff of God of War. However, the story is only set in place to send you into its very creative and enjoyable boss fights with the Greek gods. As long as you are looking for gameplay and not story, you will not be too disappointed. I would also highly suggest saving often. This game is solid, so don't get me wrong, but during my playthrough, I ran into a bug during which my character disappeared from the screen and I was unable to die by nearby enemies. This glitch set me back a good two hours or so and soured my experience slightly. However, if you heed my warning and save at all points that seem worthy to you, you should be fine as you dive into the depths of this Greek tale of heroics. So, the takeaway here. Opotheon is a beautiful sight to behold, and a great game for any fans of the Metroid, Castlevania, or Dark Souls series of games. The combat is smooth, responsive, and thought-provoking, with a few easy puzzles sprinkled throughout. The platforming, although not perfect, is on the brink of greatness, and the presentation is amazing for a small indie studio. As long as you aren't looking for a story and are willing to deal with some minor hiccups, this game is highly recommended.